Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 40-acre ranch with amazing mountain views near electricity and BLM land in southern Colorado. From the property, you have amazing views to the west of Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. There are electricity lines and poles along with underground telephone and internet lines already in place along the road just north of the property. Look at the property on our interactive map. This is the parcel highlighted here in green. It's 40.21 acres. It's lot 19C. And there's a 60 foot wide easement in place that takes you directly from the road north of the property. And that's where we saw the photo with the electricity lines and poles running right here. And that takes you directly to the property. And this is a 60 foot wide deeded easement. The property was recently professionally surveyed and staked. Here we are zoomed in on the survey. Again, you can see it's track 19C, it's 40.21 acres, and there's the 60 foot wide easement. This is the topographic map. The property has a rolling terrain with a gentle slope to the west. This is the contour map. You can see the elevation right here in the center point is about 5,820 feet. And if we zoom in on the interactive map, you can see there's some rock formations here with some clusters of trees. And if we zoom out, I want to show you over here to the east. This is the BLM land. This is 6,000 acres of BLM land with the Cucheras Canyon and the Cucheras River flowing through it. This is all publicly accessible land there for your enjoyment just east of the property. If we zoom in there and turn on our topographic layer, you can see how there's a high elevation point here of about 5,800 feet. And then over here, there's low elevation points along the river of about 5,300 feet. So you have about a 500 foot change in elevation in some areas in this canyon. That creates these really dramatic views. It's an incredibly beautiful area. These are actual photos of the Cucheras River flowing through the Cucheras Canyon. And this is all that 6,000 acres of BLM land. It's desirable for hunting, backpacking, hiking, wildlife viewing, horseback riding, photography, and more. Native wildlife in the area includes bighorn sheep, black bear, elk, white-tailed deer, and mountain lion. Here's another photo showing those dramatic elevation changes of up to 500 feet in some areas. And this is only about two and a half miles east of the property. A photographer captured this pronghorn antelope near the property and there were lots of fresh wildlife tracks and droppings. Here's some more photos of the property itself. You can see some of the rock formations and the trees. To put it into perspective, there's some statistics from new homes that were sold a few years ago. And the average lot size in the United States for a new home sold in, I believe it was 2013, was about 15,000 square feet. 40 acres is more than 1.7 million square feet of land. And the way this property is situated, it's all usable land. Many of the landowners that develop their properties have like a main home, accessory buildings, horses, cattle, sheep, chickens, goats. I was driving around looking at property the other day with my family in Texas, and we saw someone that had a camel on their property. And then you have direct access to Bustos Canyon Road with that 60 foot wide easement. If we go back to the interactive map, this is Bustos Canyon Road right here. And then that easement takes you right to the property. This is a privately maintained road which gives you great access to the property. There's even a sign showing you the public access to the BLM land that we looked at. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. This is Pikes Peak. Now we're east of the property looking west. Here's Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. This is what we saw in the very first picture that we looked at, which is this one right here. This is Greenhorn Mountain. As beautiful as these pictures are, they don't do it justice. When you're there in person, it is incredibly gorgeous, this entire area. Now we're northeast of the property looking to the southwest. Over here you have Sheep Mountain and Little Sheep Mountain. This is Rough Mountain and Mount Mestis. This is Silver Mountain. Over here you have the Spanish Peaks. We can see the road to the north, Bustos Canyon Road. Now we're north of the property looking south. Here we have the trees and the rock formations that we pointed out. This is Bustos Canyon Road just north of the property. Here are the electricity lines and poles. And then we have the 60 foot wide easement that takes you directly to the property. Here are some photos of the nearby landowners that developed their properties to varying degrees. This is the neighbor just to the west of the property. If we go back to our interactive map, they're located right here. You can see they have a main home some accessory buildings. They must have horses or livestock with this trailer right there. Here's a neighbor with a nice log home. Again, you can see more of the landowners that have developed their properties. There's one right here. 
There's one over here, one over here. Here's a neighbor to the south. They've got a nice log home. You can see their horse trailer back there. Some accessory buildings. And in this image, those white circles represent the nearby landowners that have developed their properties. This is our property right here, near close proximity to Highway 10, right here to the south, and then 69 to the west. Also, Interstate 25. Interstate 25 runs north and south along the Front Range. Right here where State Highway 10 and Interstate 25 intersect, you have the town of Walsenburg, which has a population around 3,200. It is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. And then Interstate 25 will take you north to Pueblo, which has a population around 110,000, just about an hour from the property. And then on up into Colorado Springs and then Denver. And then to the south, it will take you down into New Mexico. In this image, we're showing you all the nearby public land. Here's our 40.21 acres right here. Here's our 40 acre parcel over here. And all this green shaded area, this is all national forest land. And right here, this is Greenhorn Mountain. So almost all of Greenhorn Mountain is national forest land, which is publicly accessible there for your enjoyment. All this yellow shaded area, this is BLM land. The blue is state parks and state wildlife areas. Over here, this purple, this is the Great Sand Dunes National Park. The pink represents a wildlife refuge. You're surrounded by millions of acres of public land. And from the property, you're only 41 minutes to the town of Walsenburg. This is the county courthouse in Walsenburg. You have a hospital with a level four trauma center. It's a Colorado State Veterans Home, specialty medical clinics, lumber and building supplies, multiple grocery stores. This is Main Street in Walsenburg with local shops and restaurants. The K-12 public school. Look at the view of the Spanish peaks they have from their football field. It appears to be of newer construction. There's also a golf course in Walsenburg. They do only 49 minutes to the Lathrop State Park. The Lathrop State Park is actually the first state park in Colorado. It's roughly 1,600 acres. There are two lakes at the Lathrop State Park where you can enjoy fishing, boating, water sports. In the state park, you can also enjoy hunting and hiking and horseback riding. Here's a trail map of the Lathrop State Park. There are the two lakes. About an hour to Levita, which has a population a little under a thousand. It's a very popular tourist destination. About an hour and seven minutes to the Bedito Cone on Greenhorn Mountain. Look at this photo, just how beautiful it is. And up in these national forests, you often find lakes and reservoirs. And to the south, you're about an hour and 13 minutes to Trinidad, Colorado. Trinidad has a population around 10,000. This is Main Street in downtown Trinidad. In Trinidad, there's also a Walmart Supercenter. About an hour and 20 minutes to the Trinidad Lake State Park the 800 acre Trinidad Lake. And as we showed you earlier, Interstate 25, to the north, you're only about an hour and 20 minutes to Pueblo, Colorado, which has a population around 110,000. And then just west of Pueblo, you have the Lake Pueblo State Park. And Lake Pueblo is over 4,600 surface acres. You're about two hours to Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population around half a million. And then you're about three hours to Denver. Denver is the largest city in Colorado. Denver and the surrounding metropolitan area have a population of over a million. And there's also an international airport in Denver. We have this 40 acre ranch with amazing mountain views near this 6,000 acres of BLM land priced only 29.9. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $14 a year for the entire 40 acre parcel. There's a $200 a year maintenance fee that goes to maintain the 26 miles of private roads throughout the community. Here's all the property details. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally, or live there full time. The minimum dwelling size only 1,200 square feet for a site built home, and then only 1,000 square feet for a double wide manufactured or mobile home. And then here are all the nearby points of interest with links where you can find more information about those locations. We have the GPS coordinates and links where you can open up those GPS coordinates on a Google map. There are over 100 images and this interactive map. We've recently sold several properties right around here, even properties that are adjoining this parcel are under contract with the buyers, and they go quickly. It's an incredible value, an incredibly beautiful area. We sell our properties on a first-come, first-serve basis. So if this property does fit what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart, then click Checkout. Once you click checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information, then continue through the checkout process. Once that checkout process is completed, this buy now button automatically changes to out of stock. We'll also receive an instant notification that your $4.99 deposit has been placed. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one-page purchase agreement, and arrange for the balance of payment. 
The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. There are no commissions or fees, so your total purchase price for this amazing 40-acre parcel is only $29.9. We cover all of the closing costs, and the whole process can be completed in as little as a day. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We also have this live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to you in our next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch our videos and visit our website and then share that information with all your family, friends, and colleagues. If for some reason this property does not fit what you're looking for, we recommend go to our website and click on this properties tab. You'll be able to see all the properties that we have available. Currently, we have properties in New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, Oklahoma, North Carolina, of varying sizes and price ranges. And it would truly be an honor to add you to the Landio family of happy customers. And if you have any questions, please contact us anytime. Thank you and God bless.